Hello, welcome back to the sofa. Andy Collier talks cricket memorabilia. Still in lockdown, uh, be the third week now, so uh, we're surviving, fortunately. Um, I've picked up quite nicely now, so I'm feeling a lot better. So uh, hopefully, you can carry on now and uh, get on with the book and stuff. Um, so anyway, um, the Cricket Society took it upon themselves to put um, the video for David Fifth that we'd already made quite a few weeks ago onto their website, which has gone down quite well. So hopefully if you can go up to there, you can have a look through there. Um, if you can't get it onto the uh, YouTube or my site. So uh, enjoy those. So hope you're all well anyway. And uh, today I'm just going to have a little chat about uh, some of the bits from the 1926 tour by the uh, Australian side. Um, behind me you can see uh, a fully signed photograph of the side, um, which is, uh, that was presented to George Reynolds, uh, which was um, uh, on the way back from England to America. He's an American author. Um, so that's quite a nice signed photograph. Some good strong signatures on that. Um, and then obviously it was a, a good victory for England with um, uh, the final test win at the Oval, which was uh, when uh, Wilfred Rose got recalled. And there's a little scorecard from that uh, the Saturday play of uh, that test match from the Oval. And uh, there's the team in postcard form there. Um, that's pretty tidy up that one. That's uh, they obviously enjoyed themselves the crowd, so uh, that's quite a nice photograph this side. And uh, some photographs here of the Australian side. Um, Australian cricket side 26 portraits drawn from life, uh, signed by each player uh, by Lawrence East. And uh, each of the players there. There's um, Ponsford. Rider, rather, um, going through all the books there. All the players in the book, quite, uh, quite a nice little uh, representation there. Harry Grimmett there, and there's Warren Bardsley. Now, Warren Bardsley in this uh, series. Um, scored 193 at Lords, um, carrying his bat, uh, aged 43 in 201 days. Um, and in the collection is uh, is that bat here, which is Warren Barsley's bat. He scored on the first day, which was uh, 173 not out he was after the first day. And after that, he gave this bat. To this little chap here called Cornelius King and there he is on top of the Cecil Hotel which was uh, where the players uh, from the Australian side stayed in the when they were in London and there he is using the bat I can imagine that could well be a blazer Australian blazer on a chair at the back there with a young lad uh, keeping wicket so that's quite a nice memento there of uh, Cornelius King we had a fascinating story um, after giving that bat he uh, Ended up in the in the war in Singapore and uh, managed to escape the uh, invading Japanese. Uh, ended up in Australia, where he gave the bat to uh, one of his um, relations called Terry and Wright, who then uh, brought it back to England. And the bat was actually used by uh, Arnold Long of Surrey for. A, a while for four or five games, he, uh, Terry and Wright lent it to him, and uh, he used it in uh, for Surrey. So I don't know how he got on with that bat, with it, with the bat, but um, it's quite an interesting little story with that. So that's uh, a nice uh, piece of memorabilia from that tour. So I'm pretty keen on Warren Barsley, who actually didn't score many runs in uh, many centuries in uh, Australia. He scored most of his runs in England. It's very successful tours from 1909 to 1926 in England. Uh, vice captain on this tour and uh, to Herbie Collins and this is a bat that was used by Herbie Collins it's on the back there is signed by the 1926 side and this bat was given to a chap called David as you know uh, Collins wasn't particularly well on this tour and missed a few matches so this may be a present to a David who put him up or something but um, we never know that story completely but it's another nice um, uh, 
piece of memorabilia from that tour. And then after, when I finally got this back, that uh, brought the opening partnerships together of um, Bardsley and Collins for the first time for 81 years. So that was quite a nice thing to have. So I'm quite pleased with those. Um, so yeah, that was a um, famous victory for England with Rose coming back off uh, um, retirement, really, um, getting dragged back into the side and uh, second innings he got four for 44 uh, to win the match for England um, by 289 runs. So uh, that was England regaining the Ashes for the first time for many years. So uh, it's quite a nice uh, uh, tour for uh, English supporters. Um, they went off to uh, um, Australia in 1928 and uh, re retained the Ashes with a 4-1 four, four victory, which is a fantastic victory for them. So um, that's my little piece on uh, 1926 tour. I hope you've enjoyed the bits and pieces that have uh, come out of that. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.